Welcome back everyone, my name is Triforce Addiction and we have some very, very exciting gameplay footage to show us. And before I get started with this, it is kind of a, it's a subpar update that they're giving us, but you know, it's better than nothing and this is something that, you know, this is all I asked for really, was all what everyone asked for. And basically, let me explain how this gameplay is. So basically it's the same uh, it's the same jellyfish fields, but except this is the more updated version of jellyfish fields. I think this is this is actually from the I guess the press demo, and let's just get into it. It's kind of like a this is gonna be a, a reaction video. This is kind of like my first one, so if I'm a little bit you know, in, <laughs> if I sound inexperienced, you know why now. So let's actually get started. So the person who posted this is uh, Gematsu. And all credit goes to him because I haven't seen anyone that posted this footage yet other than CNB Extra. But I think uh, Gematsu was the first one who did it. But anyways, uh, let's actually get into the video. Let's go on full screen and let's see what's going on. Okay, so as you can see right here, everything looks far more vibrant. It looks pretty insane to be honest. The Duplicotron looks ex extremely finished. Let's see how... Oh, even Squidward, like... He looks a lot more greener. Or just everything looks a lot more greener. And they even switched the... Robots. So even the jellyfish look textured a little bit differently. Looks really, really nice. Okay, so let's see what's going on. You see, look look, look at this robot right here. He's He used to have like that green type of color, but now they're at red. So I guess they finally... I, I, I think this is their final design, I'm assuming. Let's see. Okay. Oh, you see, look, everything looks different. See, like, the animations are completely new. See? Look at that. I kind of like that. It, like, they made the animations more updated instead of, like, oh, oh, what's going on there? Oh, never mind. But now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated. Well, wow, that's, pre that's pretty cool. I like that. A layer of king jellyfish jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> <laughs> so as, you, as you guys can see here, it's actually jellyfish. being played on Xbox One, I believe. Well, I guess you're off to scale Sport Mountain. And see, wow, look at all this. Everything just looks uh, far more vibrant now than it once did. <laughs> I like how I'm loving, I'm digging the freaking new updated animations. And I'm not sure if the voice acting is the same because, you know, I have to keep my speakers muted so it won't pick up an echo on my mic. Wow, even the particles. Okay. Alright. That's cool. So, basically it works the same as the original. Even the jumping too, I've noticed that. Okay, it's a teleport box, and it, yeah. Wow, this is pretty much the same original game. It's incredible. And they also fixed the jumping, too. Look at this. Like, the camera doesn't really go up as it used to. That's crazy, I like that. It has three underwears. So the underwears look pretty, more or less, a little bit different. They're a little bit more animated. They're, like, jumping up and down. Okay. Wow, this is really turning up. And I'm loving the background over here, man. That's one thing I loved about the original game, where you're able to see, like, the other levels from a distance. And that's something also I think Super Mario Sunshine had. You know, you could see Corona Mountain from a distance. You could see uh, uh, Ser Serena Beach. Like, oh my god, this looks incredible. Okay. Pretty cool, and it seems like even the the animation for the little for the bash actually looks a lot more faster. Wow! Oh, that thing just respawned out of nowhere. A little bug to fix, but whatever. I could tell this game is almost done, man. Even just just by looking at this one level, you could tell how much progress they made. God, it looks so beautiful. Jesus, this is like a dream come true. 
Okay. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like the jumping's a little bit like weakened or nerfed. I'm not sure that that part that's probably just me, but I'll stream later on to see if I, that's actually a fact. Yeah. Wow. And they have like this little transparency thing if you want to see through the tikis if you need to. Wow. Hmm. The ice block, they're talking about the freezy fruit. You know, for most of you guys that play this game, I'm pretty sure you know you could just use one of those little flowers and just immediately jump to it, but I'm, I'm pretty sure they changed that. Because that feels like more like an exploit than anything. Wow. And it just breaks on top of your head. And I kind of like the combos. They also they also fixed the combo uh, naming. Like back then, like it would take a... Like, I don't know, the combo system didn't work as well as it did. And like even the... even Look at the button switch. It wasn't like that before. It used to be red. And now it's like black. Look at this right here. Let's uh, rewind. You see, you see it right here? It's like It's like a black and red feel to it. Back then, it used to be just like a little red and like a little slightly yellowish type of shading on the original game. That's pretty cool. And also the, all the bubble particles there. Wow. Oh, they turn those little puffer things. Wow. Well, <laughs> ah, that's pretty cool. Oh, the socks more or less look the same. Wow. Okay. Wow, this game looks really good. I just can't stop saying that because it's just, it's just amazing. Oh, that might be a problem for speedrunners. Like when you jump and use the bubble wand at the same time, it's like it doesn't really save you from falling anymore. Oof. Okay, can you get through this? Oh, I mean, obviously. Oh, I almost got hit right there. Okay, wow, they destroy it. Hey, Gary, what's shaking? Wow. Gary looks a little wow. bit weird. Oh, the fish hook. Are, are, are they gonna show the bungee hook? The bungee jump? Do they better? Oh man. Oh yeah, they 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 have it. Come on, let's see it. Come on, show me the bungee hook, man. Don't play games with me. Just do it. Just do it. Oh my god. That actually looks so dope. You can see the sock right there. I think he's trying to reach it. I'm not really sure. Can he reach it? Or is he just not trying? Okay, there you go. Spatula thing looks a little bit different. Oh, so I wow. The, anima the animation is a lot faster than it was in the original game. That's pretty cool. Oh, you said it, Gary. Oh, that's pretty much it. See, the the switch overall just changed. Like I guess through every single part. So I kind of scoured through YouTube a little bit more to find to see if there's any more uh, footage, but I couldn't find any more. This is all pretty much that we have on YouTube so far. It's a it's a very nice, uh, I guess, a little update video for us, you know, to see. I mean, it's, it's good to see that Jellyfish Fields is fully completed and there's not much bugs to worry about in this area. But, you know, this is really all we ask for. Anything, anything small, just something like this could put our mind at ease and it has. That's all we asked for. And I hope, you know, as the weeks go by, as the months go by, we could get a little bit more footage of this game or any screenshots or anything else would be fine. Or any, just like a, just put like something on Twitter, you know. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is for this video. So I hope you guys uh, like this video. Make sure to comment down below and tell me what you think about this uh, new gameplay footage. And make sure to subscribe to the channel for more uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom news and other things gaming as well. I know that sounded kind of weird, but you know, I'm, I'm not just doing, you know, Battle for Bikini Bottom, but yeah. 
anyways uh hope you guys have a wonderful night thank you for watching peace